All right, good afternoon. This is Big Bodie Cooking Show. We are going to do our dinner tonight, which is gonna be um, two packs of ramen. It's gonna be the ultimate ramen, that's what it's called. So what I did, I took a one little uh, brussel of um, green onion. We're gonna put that in there. So you wanna dice them up a little bit, Just, you know. Slice it right down. Careful you don't cut your finger, you little fucking baggot. Little bitch ass. All right, so we got those. And I cut off the tops right around, right there. I don't use these. They're a little, they're a little too uh, leafy. If you can eat them, if you want. I love onions, but mmm, delicious. So there we go. That one had a little sour taste to it there. Okay. Move them over there, you know. This is the good stuff right here. Green onion makes everything better. Breakfast, anything you you can put green onion in pretty much anything you cook. You know, it'll just be super good. Just sprinkle it on top. Yeah, I need another one of those. Mm, delicious. All right, so now that we got that done, okay, we got our green onion cooked. As you can tell, not cooked, God damn it, cut. Um, so with the ramen, I gotta use my front camera all the time on doing this, but. So we're gonna use some minced garlic, garlic powder, and um, ground cumin, and black pepper. We got our two packs of ramen here, and we got uh, four cups, four cups of water boiled. Um, Two cups for each packet, so two plus two is four, if you guys didn't know. I know there's some of you guys that watch this are a little retarded, so. And then we're gonna, at the end, we're gonna crack an egg on top, inside of it. So, that is the plan here. Um, let's see. Pretty much now, we're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait till this water's boiling. We're gonna throw the ramen in, inside, um, add our fucking seasonings, um, the chicken flavor, and then Put the egg in there and then uh sprinkle all the green onion on the top so that's what we're gonna do um so while we're waiting i guess we can get some entertainment here um there's not much entertainment but let's see what we could talk about what are some what are some issues going on in america um i can i'm just gonna say fuck fucking what's his name gordon ramsay i'm gonna say it again you're, you're a fucking bitch dude you're just such a bitch fucking yell at everyone when they're trying to they're trying their best dude you don't gotta fucking belittle them teach them teach them if you're the best cook in the world if you're the one of the best cooks fuck you man um emerald i don't know if you guys know emerald um that bitch man that fucking italian motherfucker dude uh he's he's, he's a cool guy i do like him uh he's helped me a lot with my career um what's this what's the other guy's name uh god damn it um, no, not the girl. Betty Crocker. Is that her name? Or Crockett? I don't fucking know. She has all the all the good stuff here, you know? All the good equipment, the little toaster ovens, all that fucking shit. Fucking all you need, man. I go to Walmart to get all my stuff. I use this to do the four cups. I love those, man. Awesome. Um, there's this, this, this fucking um, Hamilton Beach. I'm pretty sure it's a Walmart brand, but hey, man, if it does the job, it does the job. I don't give a fuck. Um... It does, that's just really it. You know what I mean? Like, that's all you really need. Um, Crisco, Crisco vegetable shortening. I, I advise you guys to use that and start frying stuff with that. It's a lot healthier. It's made with a lot of, um, um, what do you call it? Fucking, it's better than fucking butter. I'll, let's just say that, to fry in butter. It has a lot of oils and healthy stuff in there, vegetable oils and shit. But, um, this water is probably around, um, let's see here. Let's do the test. Oh yeah, she's getting warm. It's bubbling at the bottom, like I said in my other videos. It's probably around 212 degrees or so. Um, so we're about, it's about time to put this in there. I like to crack the egg in there first sometimes so it cooks up, you know. I'm not a big, big fan with my soups with the egg like super runny. I mean, I don't really mind it, but I like it a little hard. I think they call that poached. That's how you poach your egg, you know what I mean. Um, 
So we're waiting now. I'm gonna see if there's any other ingredients I could possibly put into this ramen. Um, a lot of people like putting some hot sauce and stuff in there, sriracha sauce. I'm not a big fan, but there is this stuff you can put in it. So chili, chili garlic sauce. This stuff is fucking spicy. I will tell you right now. Oh man, that stuff is. Ooh, God damn, man, made my my fucking nose quiver. Let's taste her. Yep, that is fucking spicy. God, frick, man, frick off. All right. <laughs> I should have put some jams in there so I could have fucking start dancing and shit. You know what I mean? But sadly, I don't have my uh, my hat, my chef hat right now, or my apron. You know, but it's whatever. You know, I could have done. This is a really bad mistake of me. I know I'm trying to teach you guys, but always put a lid on when you're boiling. And I didn't do that. It, it goes by a lot faster because it it holds all that heat in there. You know what I mean? All the steam makes it steam up. So let's put back the sauce. I'm not gonna put that in there because it's super spicy. I'll do that next time. I'll try that out. But um, that's where we're at. <laughs> it's just the longest part of the process is the boiling water. I should have waited to start the video until the, the water started boiling, but you know me, I gotta go step for step and tat for tat, bitch. I don't care. So, so that's where we're at right now. I don't know why our speaker did that, but um, where are we at here? It's getting there. It's probably around 260 now, 260 degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. Celsius, we don't use that bullshit here. That's what other people use in other countries. You know, I don't know why, but I don't know the conversion. I really don't. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. Let's just wait a second for this to uh, to boil up. And we'll be rocking and rolling. And I'll show you some great ramen. I don't usually eat ramen, but I was at Walmart the other day. I was like, fuck it, man. I'm going to get a 12-pack ramen. It's cheap as hell. It's easy to make. You can make it in the microwave, um, which I did last night. It's a lot easier. But nothing beats the stove, okay? You can do so much stuff on the stove. Make burgers. People think you, you got to make burgers on the fucking grill. Tastes better. Yes, you get the, the char marks. But the stove does everything. That, brats, as you, can, as you can tell, all kinds of shit. Toaster ovens, perfect. I mean, you can't use, you can't put big ass, you know, pans and muffin pans in there and stuff, but you can make anything you want in that thing, you know? What I like to do is I like to buy the Walmart food uh, packs, you know? Like these stuffed shells, super good, great value. Never go wrong with great value. Always use it. Great business. Um, Boil the, the fucking water. I hear the, okay. You can hear the water when it's boiling. If you're out, you know, playing games, or you're listening to music, or you're doing whatever, you, you'll hear, oh, yeah, I hear that boiling. Yeah. There she goes. So what we're going to do here now is just wait a couple more seconds. It's, it's about there. It just depends how, you know, you like it. And it depends also, I'm going to keep the four cups of water in there to get the flavor in there, you know, the noodles. But you can you can uh, pour out some water as well if you need to. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put the noodles in. Okay, so when the noodles are in, make sure you get the the noodles that are broken off in the package as well. Uh, I don't know if you guys used to do what I used to do back in the day with ramen. Sometimes I would crunch it up in the bag and pour the seasonings in there and just eat it raw. We used to do that back in the day. I don't know why, but we did. Um, make sure you get a ladle. As you can tell, uh, I'm gonna use this one, it has a strainer on it. So, we got our ramen in there. Ramen's, ramen cooks very fast, so make sure you, you know, keep an eye on it. I mean, you're not gonna burn it or nothing, but some people like their, their noodles al dente, al dente. I like mine, you know, cooked all the way, so, yep. All right, green onions are ready. We got all the seasonings. We got our egg. Um, pretty sure that is it so far. We're all ready to go here. Noodles are in. But later in other videos, um, this is about to be our longest video so far. Making ramen. 
because I started the video when it, then the water wasn't boiled yet, but I think you guys got a good, you know, uh, idea on how to do this now. Um, so, just frig off and just watch the video, you stupid fuckers. <laughs> Dude, yeah, man. It's fucking great. I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off. Oh yeah, those noodles are already fucking, oh yeah, those noodles are already getting soft. They're about cooked already. Oops, spilled some water. All right. Oops, spilled some more water. You want to knock it off, you stupid ass bitch? All right. All right. That is a lot of water in there. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to put the lid, the lid back on and I'm going to pour some water out out of here back into the sink so it's not as soupy you know what i mean okay that's probably good there all right now what i'm gonna do now my, my bad guys I, I lost my train of thought here There's too much water still you know i pour that water out just like that all right, let's see how that is. Eh, we'll do a little bit more. I like, you just really need a lot of water in there at first to uh, cook the noodles so they submerge into the water, if you know what I mean, man. So, all right, now we're gonna get to the fun part, egg, okay? See if you guys can see it here, sorry about that. All right, you can see there. All right, crack your egg. Egg is now in. Okay. Egg is in. It depends if you like your if you do if you like your yolk runny or broken up. I like to I like it runny. So I mean broken up like a scrambled egg. So we got the egg in there. I, I broke it up and shit. So the yolk's all up in there. All right. It's already cooking. Yolk is already, already in there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some black pepper in there. I love my black pepper. It goes good with every freaking thing you make. Just gives it that flavor. And you can smell the aroma of the eggs in there. It's fucking great. All right, got the pep pepper in there. Put a little bit more in there. Uh, this, the shaker is really shitty. All right, put that away when you're done. All right. All right, garlic powder is next, okay? Just depends on how much, if you like garlic, I, I really love garlic. So garlic powder, I spilled some more out, up, out of the side. Um, it's all right though, that's all right. That's what we got, you know, paper towels for. We're gonna put a little ground cumin. It gives that little flavor. Put that, a lot of it, a lot of cumin usually goes in chilies and stuff like that. See, we really wouldn't even need the, the chicken flavoring, to be honest with you. Minced garlic. I love minced garlic, so I'll put some up in there. S seasonings are done now, okay? Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our chicken packets in there that you usually always put in there. With ramen. All right, it's boiling now, it's boiling. Okay, chicken packets are in, cool deal. All right, stir it up, get all that flavor up in there. Cool, cool. All right. Let her sit on there for a little longer to cook more of that egg, the yolk and stuff. Um, Man, 14 minute video here. Oh yeah, that egg is real cooked, real cooked up. All right, let's put that away here. Sorry for the noise. 
You just want to cook it. You want to cook it so you can cook off all that, some of the extra water. It looks, it's looking perfect now. So you want to grab your bowl now, okay? Just give it another 30 seconds to a minute here to let it cook. And when it's boiling like that with all the seasoning, all it's doing is infusing into the, the noodles. You know what I mean? So you want it to cook, cook all the way up in there in the noodles. I wish we had some chili powder. I used to have chili powder, but we used it all in our last, uh, my um, enchilada video, which you, I didn't really record that because I'd started after that, but um, I'd say that's about done. So now you're gonna transfer into your bowl. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. All right, get your fork. Put the noodles on top of the liquids. All right, put your, put your, your pot in the sink. Turn off this. Now what we're gonna do, here's the finishing touches. We're gonna bring our ramen over here. Okay, and we're going to put our green onions all over the top like that. Whoop, dropped one, dropped one. There we go. And that is your ramen. That is the perfect ramen. Perfect ramen. All right. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned a fucking thing or two. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you tomorrow morning for breakfast. I'm out.